Well, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's have a quick look at the Porsche 911 Carrera RS. It has a very high gloss box. Here you go. Uh, it's uh, from Fujimi. I built one Fujimi kit before and I was very impressed with them. So I got this one here. Also got second hand from somebody else. It's, it looks a beautiful car and if you're wondering if it's actually worth anything in real life well I just was on the internet as you can see here at the back and it sold at Sotheby's for 1.3 and a bit million so yeah they are thought after cars it's a 74 Porsche 911 Carrera RS from Fujimi it has some very nice detail which I will show you in the middle and there's a lot of uh, Japanese on here and just to give you an idea what I'm on about let's have a quick look at the instructions there you go it's a uh, fold out instructions here are the color cover arts um, I enjoyed the German on there. There are some words which they constructed, which are always very funny. Obviously, I'm sure they would love it, my Japanese as well. And just to get me back, you will see here they have a very nice descriptions on their instructions, which are in Japanese. And, uh, well, so be it. I mean, in today's world, I'm sure there's a way. If I want to, I could translate that. Otherwise, the instructions are very detailed. They tell you where everything goes. No problem whatsoever. And uh, have those wheels. Here are the uh, sprues, so you can check if everything is there and work it from there. Right. And let's have a quick look at the decals. Here you go. Let's get my light back here. Here we go, so you can see better. It has uh, German and uh, American number plates. It has the Porsche uh, engine plates. It has, which I always enjoy, decals for the for the dashboard, the side stripes. And all this uh, sponsored decals right on top here you go so these are the decals just a word of warning I have found that uh, the Fujimi decals can be very thick do not easily conform so use uh, your decal solution with them you will need it and let's have a look at the wheels. They're normally always very nice. And if you look at that chrome, it's not that chintzy toyish chrome. It actually is a matte chrome, which I always find wonderful. I love that that Fujimi does that. And uh, so that gives you an idea what the wheels look like. The tires are branded. Let's get a bit closer, see if we can see that. Yeah, uh, the Continental tires branded right over there. They have a quite prominent seam in the middle, so obviously you need to clean that up a bit. And let's have a, before we get to the other plastic, let's have a quick look at the windows. I'm going to leave that here in the back. All these uh, different parts, which use for windows parts. It doesn't have red lights, so anything which needs to be colored in, you use your transparent color and color it in yourself there are the windows and what is very nice what I saw I hope I can show it to you you can see it see it has the heated rear window which is actually molded in the clear plastic the plastic itself comes in three different colors we have it in black gray and white here are the seats to start with there you go gives you an idea what they look like 
proper racing seats even has rear seats if you choose to put them in then it has the, the normal seats obviously the racing seats go with the RS version let's have a look at the dashboard since I like dashboards so much so here you go there's the console so if you look at the detail it's very nice spare wheels uh, as you like it and uh, different gear knobs so there are different options which you can use and you can paint them accordingly then uh, roll bar right over here some other stabilizers and here we have part of the interior which you build up yourself out of parts we have uh, for the turbos air intake right over here the battery uh, another gear knob so there's certainly enough options for you available uh, to doll this up to your heart's content we then go to the next color screw which is gray here you go these are the grays where the brakes I see a distributor for the six cylinder um, I see other parts and stabilizers let's have a look what this is I'm looking at this for the first time as much as you do that seems to be part of the engine so you can see it's all done very crisp forms are very crisp yeah I remember when I built the 356 it even had the cylinders it's the enthusiast version it even had the cylinders which you then closed up in the motor block so that didn't make much sense don't see any pistons here so that's fine so yeah you can detail up the engine very very nicely if you then wish to do so bit more parts here um, headers outlets all that kind of stuff now you can see they are certainly not shy with their details at Fujimi they never have been they have been known for building detailed kits really stuff which you can dolly up very very nicely there's part of the interior pan right over here and right uh, the back section here you have the mirrors once again you know, paint them with the body don't forget that and uh, I guess these are the lights which you see in front here different light pots to choose from here you go the rear part diffuser right there at the back and then uh, obviously the whale tail as we used to call it back in the day at the back the big rear wing right over there I see there's a possible little bit of a mark there which might need some tender loving care and then last but not least the body which I have in my hand over here that looks very neat it has a couple of seams which you need to attend to like they all do nothing out of the ordinary looks very crisp looks very level here you go looks a very decent model now I can see this especially for a Porsche to and to the extent my my youngest son certainly is one this can be something which you can have lots and lots of fun with for a considerable amount of time it is a uh, looks to be a wonderful kit it looks great i always loved those porsche even when they came out in 74 i i already loved them then and i still love them today and this was a real pocket rocket this thing moved i can tell you this was a real fast car and as i say they certainly as far as the originals go hold their value as i told you at sotheby's they go for over 1.3 million dollars so yeah 
lots and lots of money if you want to have a real one. Uh, I don't have 1.3 million dollars right now, so what I do, I uh, buy the 1 to 24 model from Fujimi, and it looks detailed enough that you will have lots and lots of fun with it. I well, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching. All the best from a cold and wintry Cape Town. Till next time. Cheers.